Hello, I'm Kimberly Wyatt, and I'm going to read you an extract from my book, Tilly's Time to Shine, from the World Elite Dance Academy series. In this extract, Tilly has just returned to WIDA from her Christmas break. Tilly walked into her dorm room at WIDA and gave the world's biggest ever sigh of relief. It was so good to finally be back. It had felt like the Christmas holiday would never end. But as she looked around her side of the room, at the bed crammed with cushions in every shade of pink and brightly colored mood boards hanging on the wall, the relief she felt was tinged with fear. Her mom had reminded her yet again of her threat to remove her from Ouida when she dropped her back at the academy. I meant what I said, Tilly. She'd repeated as they got out of the car. If you don't get your grades up this term, we're moving you to a normal school. Tilly sank down onto her bed. She couldn't go to a normal school. She wasn't normal, and she didn't ever want to be. Ouida was the first place she'd ever felt free to be her own quirky and expressive self. She looked over to the other side of the room. There was a half-unpacked suitcase on the other bed with clothes spilling out of it and onto the floor. Her roommate, Naomi, was obviously back, and there were no prizes guessing for where she'd be. Naomi's twin brother, Jordan, was also at WIDA, so she spent most of her time in his room. Normally, Tilly liked this as it gave her loads of space to be on her own. But after the holiday she just had, being on her own was the last thing that she wanted. It was weird. Even though she'd been with her family the whole time, she'd still felt all alone. Bobby had spent most of the break on Skype with his girlfriend or playing Xbox games with his mates. And their parents might as well have been on another planet, wrapped up in their work or talking about the news. Tilly had spent the entire holiday feeling like a jigsaw piece in the wrong puzzle. She jumped to her feet and looked in the mirror on the back of the door. Time to be me again, she said to her reflection before grabbing a pack of hair dye from her bag.